You're watching Boys Fishing Crew. You're watching Boys Fishing Crew. You are watching Boys Fishing Crew. You're watching Boys Fishing Crew. You're watching Boys Fishing Crew. How you guys doing? You guys watching Boys Fishing Crew. And what's up guys, Richard here, Boys Fishing Crew. Oh, uh, yeah. Chris Sherman, you know. Uh, lucky enough, someone hooked us up with a moonfish. If you guys don't know what a moonfish is, it's AKA Opa, Hawaiian Opa. Opa. This is a full grown Hawaiian Opa, I believe so, because I've seen a small one. And uh, um, we go, we're gonna, well, I'm not professional of filleting this type of fish. This is my third Third time for me, yep. second time for him, yep. filleting the fish. My first one didn't go too well, really but I've been, uh, I've been practicing. And uh, we're gonna cut this up for you guys. Um, let me show you guys here first. We, we've already cut this, practice rerun, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, but we figured me and Chris Sherman, uh, you know, show you guys how to fillet this. Like I said, we were not professional to fillet open fish. We just like to share it. You know? We just like to share. Uh, he can watch a lot of videos on YouTube to fillet an opa fish, but we were lucky enough to grab to have an opa and fillet it for you guys. So here we go. This is a big, big opa. This is pretty heavy, actually. So I have a fillet knife right here of my choice. Uh, this is my fillet knife right here, aka the saw. This is Cooter Sherman's fillet knife right there. So that's my hack fillets. Right here. So now we took the the other side. So the other side, it's it's this now it's it's more light. Normally it's heavy. So what we're gonna do is on, on the side of Opa, there's um there's a bone. So right, we'll see. As you can see, there's like an indentation right here. What it is is the um. Like a, the, like, like a jaw, the, like a jaw, like a cheek. Like this is the jaw where they have nothing. So this yeah. is pretty much what it takes. Um, so you just, he's gonna cut around here, and there's a meat in there that's like beef. Yep. Right. And so we're that's gonna cut. We're gonna trim <clears throat> from here all the way down to the head, and then pretty much this is what are you able to get from this fish. That's right. So just the parts that uh, we're gonna harvest right here. Yep. So now. Let's begin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cut from the bone part to here across all the way across to the body like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut here to identify it. You can feel around the meat. There's like a hard area that goes in. This is the stomach in this area right here. So we're going to cut that all right, with your fillet knife. Follow through. And there you go. Cut. Boom. So you just follow that. Now you just kind of follow through it. Make sure you get deep cut because you might not cut deep enough on the first. So you just cut deep on the second. All right. Boom. Yep. So now you want to follow a lot of like the, the, the big fish like this. Uh, you can't just cut. I mean, if you're a professional, then you probably could cut the whole thing like that. So, but since it's a bigger fish, what we do is we cut in the middle here and then we fillet this side or either or this side, this side, as long as you cut this. So you want to follow like on tuna, they have like a bloodline. So you just want to follow that. You can tell the center of the, the tail right here. You just follow all the way through like that. All right? Always clean your knife. Clean your knife outward, not inward because you cut yourself. Let's so follow that. Boom. That scale on there is pretty tough, guys, so just be careful. Go up again. Just same line with a little bit more pressure. There you go. There you go. So now we're going to cut on this side. Now I'm going to grab my bigger knife just to cut almost to here, and then my longer knife to follow to that. All right, so from the top of the head. Sure, you have sharp knife. Oh, yeah. Now I'm going to grab my longer knife. I'm going to cut through. The 
the bone. Just follow your follow, follow through it through the bone. All right, so what you want to do is once you cut deep enough, you just want to grab your fingers, all five fingers, four fingers, to just lift that. You see it? So you just lift that and then just follow through the bone. Boom. And then I'm gonna go back here and have my knife curved in just in like that and then just cut through that like this. So there's a bone, like the ribs, so you're just gonna, this is the ribs, you're just gonna cut throughout that ribs, cause you don't really need the ribs. You know, I'll show you guys. Boom. Ooh, nice. So this is what, so that's the rib part. You're not gonna be able to harvest that, so. That's a nice so, cut. So now this is what, we we'll end up on the top loin of the opa fish. That's pretty nice. Put this aside. Now same thing, you're just gonna follow your line all the way out, right? Always getting your knife outwards. Now the way I grip my knives, I learned this from the best, like Dare Me for Dinner, a lot of people that watch uh, Filet, is always have a good grip. And the way they do it is, a lot of people I've seen, they do it like this which is normal, you know what I mean? But what I learned from them is, you put your thumb here, all right? Shout out Kuya Joel too, from uh, Kelly H, showed us how to fillet. And uh, just put your thumb here, and that kind of brings out that pressure for you to drive in the knife and slice. So like, we're gonna work the ribs first. You can fill with your hand, I mean your finger. Then again, you know, when you guys see like, oh, there's some more meat, da, 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 da. like what's that? We're not professional. So what you want to do is the fin part here, you can't really eat that because that's straight up bones. So you just want to cut over like that alongside here and then you can fillet out. Just cut. Like that. Take your time guys, don't rush it. The more you rush things, then you end up cutting yourself. You know? The fish is not going nowhere.
Nice. Oh. There you go. Then you got that bottom bottom loin part. So just put this aside. Now we're gonna watch uh, Q Sherman how to take out uh, the beefy part of the fish. They said it tastes like beef, which is it does. So. All right, guys. So he's starting up to the top. He's gonna make a circle because the uh, the skin on this opa is uh, pretty thick. So he's gonna grab a firm grip on the knife and just make a circle. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but from our point of view, we can see the round part of the fish, so where we can cut around and work through it. Like always say, always take your time. Uh, make sure that you get all the things that you need from the fish, because we don't like to waste anything from the fish. And, uh, yeah. Now, let's there you see go. It. now once you're done cutting all around circles, you're just gonna follow through again because there's stuff that would stick around uh, on the meat and then the skin. Always uh, keep that in mind. When you fillet your fish, make sure that you have it thawed out. Um, it is harder for you to fillet a fish if it's mid frozen. So always have it completely thawed out and then uh, you fillet your fish. Right. You gotta show it this way. Look at the um, the skin coming off the meat. This thing has a meat, uh, beef-like texture. So if you can see, it's more reddish than the uh, regular meat from the Opa. There you go. Boom. See now guys, this is the shield almost. Look how thick the skin off of this Opa. Some Opa has even thicker skin than this. We've seen one that's like, like an inch thick almost, so. Oops. Right now he's just working, working around. And uh, where you can hear a sound, that's actually a bone. So it's like a two plate, it's like a plate in between like two meats on each side of the fish. So. Look at that cut, guys. It's pretty nice, huh? Look how red, red that meat. It's like beef. Boom, as you can see, that's the bone part. Right there that he's cutting. He's professional now. <laughs> this type of fish actually reminds us of like salmon so every time i taste this fish 
it tastes exactly like salmon to me. How about you? Yep, I agree. How about you, sir? <laughs> what does it taste like to you, sir? <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, look at that, guys. What? Like pancake. It's kind of hard, but then um, it's my uh, second time doing this, so. And we'd like to give thanks to the crew that gave this to us. Uh, there might be like meat left over inside, so it doesn't matter. But. Yeah. We got, as long as you get most of there it. There you go. Boom, look at, look at, look at how That's red. That's nice meat. Is. Nice, wow. nice meat. All right, so now, guys, we're going to. This is what I'm talking about, straight up plate right yep. there. So now we're gonna cut more of these, you know, because we don't like to waste this fish, you know. So, and uh, yeah, so what we can see what we got, guys. You got the bottom part of the fish, and you got the loin part of the fish. Look how nice and pink this fish. Uh, you can grill this, bake. Sashimi style, really good. And this is the cheek part of the fish. So. I saw we tried the sashimi and it's really, really good. Yeah. Actually. Super. I thought it was be like a fishy, but then um, it's but, really good. I think sometimes it, well, that time to me, it tastes better than yellowfin tuna. Yeah. Like when we had it, because there's no fishy taste to it, so. Boom, hey guys, Rich here, boys, fishy crew. For Sherman right there. Now we're uh, done chopping up this fish, but we're still gonna take this part of the head. There's still a lot of meat in this. We're gonna carve out some of this meat here, uh, but it's mainly all bones already, and he already carved whatever you can get from this fish and Opa. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. Like I said, we are not professional of filleting this fish. This is our third time, second time yep. for me. No, this is second time for him, third time for me. Filleting this fish, so hopefully down the road, uh, we can show more different type of fish that we could uh, fillet and hopefully you guys learn something like what we learn from other professionals that we watch on um, YouTube you know fortunate enough that we someone gave this Opa so we could try to fillet and eat maybe later hopefully we add this in the video if we can find something we'll cook up uh, fry something else we show you guys how it tastes and things like that but yeah we're yep. gonna cut this up guys and that's it I would like to thank you guys for watching so please like share and subscribe for more videos i would like to thank you all for all the subscribers um that subscribed and all our older subscriber uh out there still sa stay safe there you go stay safe guys happy and holidays till next time happy holidays to you from my family to yours that's it adios oh snap, oh, snap. Boom. Okay, so uh we cut up the opa and uh, like i said we're gonna Try cooking some. Shout out to Chris Sherman. This one we're gonna try to air fry. Guys, um, yep. a lot of people like to fry this up, uh, but we're gonna try to air fry. We're not sponsored by any air fry. We're just gonna try to air fry this. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the skin off. We have the skin right here. We're just gonna fillet the skin out of here. Um, the technique to this is you don't want to cut it too too thick because it gets too dry. So you just want to get a good amount, about like an inch thick on a fillet, and then, and then we could uh, season it. Season it. Yeah. Cut up. So, gonna follow the tail. Like that. Gonna take the skin off. I mean, some people they like it with the skin on. But it's really good with it. It's good. So you're gonna come out here so you have a grip. And then Professional! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I've learned oh, from the yeah. best. I've learned from the best. You know? So now we're just gonna kind of just cut it like that. It's a good. Yep. A decent size right there. And then, oh snap. Oh snap. Okay. Yeah. So you can see the layer of the fat guys. Right? You see the muscle? Muscle part and then just the skin and then just the fat. Almost like to uh salmon. Yeah. 
and we tried to get over the sashimi. Yes. And we tried it. Wow. Shout out to uh, Peter Porchak. Peter Porchak, aka Peter Porchak, Peter Allen. What when when you cut the skin off, you get, make sure you have a sharp knife because you don't want to, you know, saw it off there. You make make sure just work it with the knife. Let the knife see. Sure. Okay. So you got that. See that? That's okay. fat. Okay. Cut that off. Boom. My mouth's watery right now. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do this last part. Last fish. All I just wanna do is I wanna cut in and then turn my knife. Out oh, that way. Yeah, let the knife do the work because you just want to have grip. Mm -hmm. See how then the knife that and then yep. Okay. Right. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Just go like that. Yep. Yeah, it's it's nice too if you um if you play your fish and you have a nice watch too. <laughs> so, all right. We're gonna do with this is we're gonna season it uh, with opa. You don't want to go overboard. Well, it all depends how what you want to do. Yeah. But this thing has a lot of fat on them, so we're just gonna season this with um, garlic, salt, and pepper. Okay. And then on the air fryer. Yep. And then that's it, guys. So we're gonna grab the salt, the garlic salt. <laughs> yeah, we should. Like I said, this is not my kitchen cup, so I can look at the kitchen. So, we got garlic salt. Sprinkle it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, decent amount. Somebody here likes garlic? Come throw their hand, thumbs up. Is someone, someone here likes garlic? I know some of like garlic. I'm okay with garlic. Not too much. I'm okay with garlic. Like the sun. 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 Trying to get it off. It's called dry rub. Dry. Yeah. All right. So now, get that in like that. Then we're gonna put it in air fry. Yep. And uh, what you do is you just pull this out. So, and then just the, um, oh, yeah, this is, oops, sorry. So I got my hand, just line it up how you want it, guys. Okay. Don't worry about this, that means we cooked something good in here, that's why it looked like that. That's uh, how Actually, we already cooked, so <laughs> yeah, we just forgot to uh, video. <laughs> Turn the <a> video. <laughs> just a second there. We were so excited when we saw it and, you know, we forgot to be, you know, vlog it. Alright. Now we're just gonna, there you go, lined up, paste up, slide it in. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand it to Chris Sherman, guys, because I don't know how to work this air fry. Uh, and then he's gonna show you guys how to uh, work the air fry. First of all, we're gonna have to plug it in. Because it doesn't work if it's not plugged in. <laughs> Whoa, look at that. Man, there's a fish. So there's a fish logo, which is right there. Yeah. There we go. Fish, fish logo like that. Right. That's it. Uh, how wait. many minutes? 50 minutes. 50 minutes for Oka. Depends how big it is. Yep. On uh, what temperature? Uh, 325. 325 on the temperature, guys. So we'll wait 15 minutes and uh, see how it goes. Yep. What? Alright guys, so finally done the scene. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Looky, looky. There you go. There you go, guys. Look at that. Oh man, that looks delicious. Let's do that. Let me cut one open. Perfect. Nice. Alright guys, we'll see. Enjoy. Enjoy.